All right, let's talk about how to generate leads as a loan officer. We're gonna talk about some free things you can do, some low cost things you can do, and some expensive things you can do. I'm Nick Carpenter, welcome back to the channel. All right, before we jump into the actual video, I got this new Prime X. This is the one that they're playing the game. It's kind of like the Monopoly game that they used to do at McDonald's where you can ca catch some prizes and stuff. But anyways, I haven't actually tried the flavor yet, so I'm just gonna give it a go. I don't know how you feel about Prime, but man, I love, I love Prime for whatever reason. Okay. It's kind of like a str almost like strawberry lemonade. Raspberry lemonade. Ooh. It kind of makes the makes the things in the back of your throat do that, you know, that watery thing. All right, cool. What kind of fun. Again, obviously the kids all love Prime, and so we try to keep we try to keep it around. But today, we're talking about how to generate leads as a loan officer. Everybody loves free ideas, so that's what we should start with. I'm, you know, I was an old realtor at Keller Williams back in the day, and so profit first is always the mentality. So number one thing you can do is you can go to realtors. As a lender, you can go to realtors and we can get their old leads. So every realtor has leads in their database that never did anything. So we can go to the realtor and we can ask them for that old list. And just depending on how far back you want to go or how many leads they have, you could decide if you just want two years, three years, up to five years worth of leads that you can be able to reach out to. What's cool about this strategy is, again, realtors might have hundreds, if not thousands of leads, depending on how far back they you, you go, how much money they spend on marketing, if they're doing Zillow or Facebook ads or any of that type of stuff. And now you can be able to get all those leads that they've spent a lot of money on for free. You can call through on behalf of that real on behalf of the realtor and now you can be able to try to fish out any deals that are in there if you get a list of if you get a list of leads obviously the number one question is what do I say to them so I'm gonna tell you right now so if you get a old leads you know I mean in terms of you know how to generate leads as a loan officer this is a very simple strategy because it's completely for free it just only takes time and you know most people again there's you either have money or you have time so this is a great strategy if you have a lot of time so get the lead list if you want to you can text the leads if you're gonna text them very simple text are you still looking for a new house are you still looking for a new house that's the whole that's the whole text alright and you're gonna it's gonna create a lot of conversations and you can sometimes pop deals by texting the leads that way also Obviously making phone calls is going to be the best, probably fastest path to um, converting the deals. All right, so I learned this script a while back at a sales training I went to, and basically it goes like this, like, ring, ring, hello? Hey, is that Nick? Yeah? Nick Carpenter? Yeah? Awesome, man. You're exactly who I'm looking for. Hey, I've been seeing your name in our database for a while now, and I just wanted to check in, see where you're at in the home buying process right now. And then if you just be quiet and you allow that awkward gap to be in place, you know, humans feel awkward after a four second gap. So it's it's almost like that chicken game, right? Who's going to talk first? So if you just go, hey, where, where you, I just, you know, just wanted to see where you guys are at in the, uh, you know, where you're at in the home buying process right now. And now, you know, if you just be quiet, eventually those people are going to be forced to tell you something. Right, and so that's how you can be able to create a cool conversation right up front. Um, again, little text message: Are you still looking to buy a house, or are you still looking for a new house? And uh, then on the phone call, just checking in: Hey, seen you in our database for a while. Where are you guys at in the home buying process right now? And then again, right? See, it's that weird, awkward pause where you're like, uh, right? It's like nowadays. If there's a four second pause, people start thinking about jumping on their phone and seeing seeing what's interesting on the phone because we just, you know, you want to keep the action going. That's idea number one. Get leads from realtors. Work the leads like, you know, your life depends on it because it does if you don't have any deals. And you can definitely pop deals that way and it's going to be completely for free. All right, second idea I've got for you. This is also completely for free. And this is to work Facebook Marketplace. 
Now, back in the day, and not to say that Craigslist isn't still somewhat effective for realtors, but you know, the old Craigslist is kind of what Facebook Marketplace has become today. And so there are two categories of real estate listings on Facebook Marketplace that you can utilize, rentals and homes for sale. So obviously for rentals, in terms of being a loan officer, the rentals are, you know, are gonna be a little bit lower quality lead of people that we're looking for. But sometimes you can, if you have a realtor that's willing to work rentals, you can work this as a partnership and you, know, you can pump those, you know, those clients over to your realtor that's willing to work rentals, but also it gives you a chance to have a buying conversation with people who may not know if they are qualified to buy a house or not. Right? I mean, sometimes people are just looking for a rental because that's what they've seen other people do or that's what they know or that's what their family's always done. And so you may be able to have a conversation with people like that and you can help them understand that it is possible for them to get into a house. And so it does create a lot of conversations. So if you have time and you're willing to have those type of conversations with people who may or may not be qualified to buy a house, then posting rentals on Facebook Marketplace is a great way to do that. Same thing for homes for sale. So you can go out and find for sale by owners that will allow you to post their house. Um, you can go to Zillow, search for the properties that are listed by owner, and just reach out to them and say, hey, I'm a lender. I'd love to find buyers that like want to buy your house and need to get a loan. So can I use your house in some marketing? And you'd be amazed at how great and how positive the response is from for sale by owners when you're not trying to list their house. You're just like, hey, can I tell people about your house? And you know, like if they need a loan, maybe I can help them with that. It's a very easy yes. You can post houses on Facebook Marketplace for sale. You, you're going to have to field a lot of questions, and you know there there can be sometimes a lot of messaging that comes through. Um, but it, again, it can create some great sales conversations for you. So that's another free idea is posting rentals and homes for sale, like such as for sale by owners or new construction uh, or listings that you get permission to use from other realtors, uh, posting those on Facebook and using those as, as a carrot to create sales conversations. My third idea is this is going to move into low cost. So I gave you two free ideas first. Now we're going to have a little bit of a low cost idea. So the, the first low cost idea is to partner with a realtor and run Facebook ads. All right, now the way you're going to do this and be compliant, at least the way that we've uh, had attorneys tell us is good, you should obviously ask your own compliance department as well, is you know, to run Facebook ads and to do it effectively, you're going to need some kind of back-end automation. You're going to need a software to help you out. So I use a tool called Complete LO. You can check that out at completelo.com, or I think I've got a link down in the description that gives you the best pricing available. And you know, you can pay for a software like Complete LO that's going to manage all the ads, that's going to manage all the automation, the conversion for you, the calendar piece, all those things. You can cover the, the automation and the software tools, and the realtor can cover the Facebook ad budget. So that's how you can get realtors to pay for the ad spend, so you don't have to worry about that part. Now all you're covering is a set fee every month for the software, and you're getting all the leads for free. So it's a great strategy. And so what you can do is you can partner with a realtor, get a listing that the realtor wants to run um, that they are trying to sell right now, and, and you can run that listing as a Facebook ad. What's really cool is Facebook, um, you know, they have taken away a lot of the targeting and things like that. So it's, it's a bit limited on what you can do, but there's still certainly options on how you can target people who are looking to buy a house right now. And so, like, as one example, Facebook has this thing that they call the pixel, which is like a tracking code on Zillow. So if somebody's logged in on Facebook on their cell phone and they're searching for houses on Zillow through the app, Facebook knows everything that that person's doing. And so now when they leave Zillow and they come back over to Facebook, you can actually have your ad pop up in their newsfeed like, hey, if you're checking out houses, maybe you're going to like this house. And there's your offer where they can submit a form, get in contact with you guys, and now you have a lead that you're able to generate for you know, maybe a few dollars a piece. I mean, 
right now in July 2024, which is crazy to say, but we're generating leads in some places for as cheap as 70 cents a piece. Right now, that's going to be for a short form, you know, name, email, phone number. But man, 70 cents, that's crazy, right? So um, the leads can be very cheap. So if you get a realtor to cover the ad spend, you can generate leads, like a good quantity of leads, um, pretty quickly. If you're spending what I recommend kind of in that 10 to $20 a day range, that's going to usually get you anywhere from three to five leads a day, kind of in that, you know, somewhere around there. So it's manageable. And then if you have it going into complete LO or something that's going to help you with the automation, sending out text messages and helping the people to convert into appointments for you, then obviously that's going to take on, you know, a lot of the heavy lifting as well from the leads that are coming in every single day. So that's a pretty low cost way that, um, you know, if you're looking at how can you generate leads as a loan officer, that's a, a very effective strategy that we're using today in, you know, tons of markets around the country and you could do the exact same thing. Fourth idea, the second one that has a low cost is partner with realtors on open houses. Okay, realtors, if you're going to partner with them on the open house to go there, number one, it's a safety factor. So now you're able to provide a little bit of extra security for the realtor, especially if it's a female and, and you're a male, um, or just the idea of having numbers there is always going to be better than one individual. You can also probably expect that they're going to look for you to help contribute for the food and um, you know drinks, maybe things like that, the little snacks or some cookies or stuff. Uh, but but no big deal, right? Just like a small budget. And what's awesome about sitting open houses, look, it's it's probably not the thing that if you could dream up what your perfect Sunday looks like, it's probably not sitting at an open house. But if you need business right now, the open house is going to drive and, and connect you face to face with right now home buyers, right? These are people who are actively shopping in that neighborhood for a house right now. And so you have a very good potential to be able to have some high quality conversations with people who are coming through the open house. So it's a almost free way. Sometimes it can be free. The realtors are like, yeah, just come over. I'd love for you to be there. And they don't look for you to contribute. But if you can obviously contribute something to the open house, drinks, food, some a giveaway prize or something like that, it's going to help out a little bit. And that's what's going to keep it in that low cost range. And that's a great way to generate leads as a loan officer. Last idea is the old tried and true, you know, what everybody thinks about, which is just go pay Zillow or Realtor.com an exorbitant amount of money and just let them deal with it. And you can certainly do that. Um, to, according to Zillow's own reports, the average lead cost is $74 per lead. We're generating the exact same leads through Facebook and running Facebook ads and some of that kind of stuff for about $5 a piece. So, you know, it's like, do you want to generate one lead or do you want to generate like 20 leads or whatever the number would be, you know, 15 leads for the same amount of spend. And, and you can kind of decide how you want to do your money. But going into a Realtor.com or a Zillow partnership obviously is one of the simplest ways to generate leads as a loan officer because all the work is done for you. You're just paying a higher fee uh, for all that work to be done. And it's what realtors know. Um, but, the, you know, again, one of the challenges of getting into a money-based relationship is that Typically, how our relationship starts is also how the relationship is going to end. So just be cautious on that end. If you're going to get into a relationship where it's based on you paying for the Zillow partnership, if at some point you decide to not do that anymore, the partnership probably will also dissolve and that relationship will die because they need to go find another lender to help pay for the leads. So that's why there's extra value in you learning how to generate your own leads and being able to bring some of those ideas to the table around Facebook ads, for example, because that's how you can even get the realtors to pay you versus you paying the realtors into like the Zillow or Realtor.com partnership. So, hey, look, if you're here, you know, you wanted to learn how to generate leads as a loan officer, I hope that was helpful for you. You got some ideas. If you have other questions, comments, ideas for other videos, obviously drop those down in the comments. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified whenever I drop new videos, typically on Wednesdays. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.